I chose Sidney Lawrence because of one of his famous paintings of Mount McKinley, now known as Denali. He was born in 1865 in Brooklyn, New York. He also stu studied art in New York. He was a painter, a professional photographer, a gold miner or gold prospector, and also oil miner. His paintings were of the Alaskan wilderness, the landscape. He liked to paint cabinets, the northern lights, and also marine art. In 1889, he moved to England with his first wife. While in England, he became a member of St. Deep's Art Club and the Royal Society of British Arts. In 18 94, he served as an illustrator correspondent to several publications, including the British Black and White magazine. In 1903, he moved from England to Juneau, Alaska. He actually abandoned his family in England to pursue, to become a gold prospector. In 1905, it was documented that he lived in the Kenai Peninsula. At this time, he did a lot of prospecting jobs, a lot of odd jobs. Um, he did a lot of photography. He had left painting behind. He wasn't too focused on painting at that time. From 1909 through 1914, he moved all over Alaska. And in 1915, he moved to Anchorage and he decided to make Anchorage his home. He was hired by the Alaskan Engineering Company Commission to document the development of the town of Anchorage and construction of the Alaskan Railroad. Many of the earliest images of Anchorage were taken by Sidney Lawrence. In 1919, he opened a studio in Juneau and began selling his paintings and photographs. In 1920, his photographs and paintings became a little bit more famous, so he opened a studio in Anchorage. In 1922, he closed his photography studio in Anchorage, and he pursued painting full-time. In 1924, he opened a studio in LA, and in 1928, he remarried. In 1940, he passed away in Anchorage, and he's buried in Anchorage. His art style was American Romantic Landscape, Tonalist, and French Impression. He was one of the several artists who were considered tonalist, a term for a new style of painting, which was popular from 1880 to 1915. Tonalist style is an intimate style of landscape. It's characterized by the use of a single dominant color and glaze finish. Finney Lawrence forged a uniquely style by applying the tonalist techniques he learned in New York and in England to the wilderness of the North. One of his most famous uh, paintings, his trademark painting was the Mount McKinley. In that 1913, he was offered $400 in gold to paint Mount McKinley. He camped south of the mountain 
during the summer. And then after that, he returned to Belvis. And since then, this painting of his has became, has been his most famous painting. To me, his paintings evoke emotions, harmony, tranquility, and it is through the tonally, tonalist style of painting that we can feel that with the soft color, the soft colors, the balance that he's used throughout his paintings. He neglected his paintings or painting for a long time. Sidney Lawrence lived the hard life of a pioneer prospector in Alaska. He captured the beauty of Alaska. In conclusion, I learned that Sidney Lawrence became famous after he passed away, he became internationally famous and recognized for all his paintings, for all his hard work. He moved throughout Alaska as a pioneer during really the gold rush when Anchorage was just starting. I learned that through art, through photography, it is that we can go back and see our history and see how history moves along and how we can make stories and how we can see messages through paintings and through photography. <laughs>